What's going on guys? So we are still out here in Detroit at the Ford Proving Grounds. We are gonna take this F450 2023 limited high output power stroke diesel engine hauling a 30,000 pound trailer. That trailer plus the weight, 30,000 pounds. They have a pintle hitch connected to a custom Gen Y receiver back here just so we could haul this much weight this thing is absolutely crazy this truck is loaded to the gills i made a video right before this where we talked about some of the cool towing technology that this truck has and that video took a lot longer than we thought so we decided we're going to separate the two but we're going to hop in this truck and take it on their towing loop and uh, i'll give you my impressions on how well i think this truck handles thirty thousand pounds hang tight i'll be right back Okay, so my uh, my guide is Dave today, but before we hop in the truck, payload capacity, 4,851 pounds on this F450. That's a, that's a higher number than I thought it would be, because I think even my 2017 F450 has a slightly lower payload capacity. So you've done something to actually improve payload capacity in this 450, while at the same time putting a beefier axle under it, yep. and, you know, an insane amount of luxury. This is crazy. Anyways, we're gonna get on board and we'll take off. All right, so I got David here with me. We are taking off in this gorgeous truck and I think they said I could keep this one too, so <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> got the power extending mirrors out. Everything's dialed in and we are about to hit the road. I guess I'm making our yep, we're gonna make it right here and uh, we'll let you go up and down some grades so you got a little Pintle action right there. Make sure you got your exhaust brake on, so engine yeah. brake is on. We're on automatic. Let's turn it on. So on gives you the full performance. Automatic gives you uh, optimized performance. If it's putting too much uh, um, engine braking in, it will back it off for you. On just gives you 100% all the time. I can't even tell I'm hauling this trailer. <laughs> I can't tell. I, I'm being honest with you guys. I'm not trying to like exaggerate this at all, but. Right now, um, just taking off, it, besides hearing the pintle move, because pintle hitches are kind of loud, um, even braking. I mean, right there, I could tell I'm, I'm, something's behind me, but definitely not 30,000 pounds of something. And then I'm gonna give it some throttle right here. Yeah, you can tell you're hauling weight. I mean, because it's not an insignificant amount of weight. It's 30,000 pounds, but boy, it, uh, it does not do much to to slow this truck down. Uh, hit OK on the wheel and get your gauges there. there you go. Okay. So you notice how the HUD helps your experience there? You keep your eyes on the uh, road and what's important. So we're going to go around the circle here with the grade. Okay. So what grade is that? That is 15 or 17 percent. It says. Um, fortunately, or <laughs> we're not allowed to use it. <laughs> I don't even know if we could make that breakover angle up there, to be honest with you. And that looks Without, fun, though. Uh, scrubbing something. Well, we are going to go up 7% grade, though, right here, right? Yep. All right. This truck is smooth. I don't know if you've made any refinements to the, the ride, but it feels smoother than my uh, my yeah. current F450. Actually, that's a good point we didn't talk about. So we have uh, new shock absorbers that we did uh, that have uh, some refinement to the tuning. Um, it definitely plushes the ride out a bit. And we've seen quite a few comments on uh, social media already about how much better the ride is on 2020. So um, it really makes us feel good that people are noticing the work that we did to uh, improve the ride of the truck because it really is smooth. I can, I can absolutely say that this truck is handling bumps smoother than my 2017. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. This is, it's, it's, it's a very noticeable difference. That's great. And the 2017 versus, I mean, th that that's a still a very relevant it's truck. It's still a very, it's a great yeah. truck, yeah. So we'll go around and we'll come back um, with the left-hand outlet here. If you're hearing noise, that's because you have play with a pintle hitch, and that pintle's kind of sliding around a little bit inside of the, the coupler opening but it's a very maneuverable hitch. Very forgiving when it comes to hitching up as well. All right, so now we're gonna go downgrade. What is this grade? This is, I uh, believe it's, what does it say right here? I, know this, I think it's 7%, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit more on this one. It's 
a good question. I'll have to find out. I'm gonna tap the brake here so we can get some exhaust braking going on. Thirty-seven hundred RPMs. Is that the that's the red line? The red line for it. it it's handling this weight very well, and, and this is something that I want to point out real quick. So, when you haul a fifth wheel, the fifth wheel places the weight over the back axle of the truck. You're always going to have a more stable ride with the fifth wheel. When you haul a conventional trailer, you're putting a significant amount of lever on the back of the truck. It's behind the axle. So oftentimes, the the perception of sway that people get with, with trucks is because you have that lever action taking place behind the axle with your trailer. Um, and that's arguably the, the hardest area to dampen down. And this truck is hauling a conventional trailer, a conventional bumper pull trailer by all accounts, that's 30,000 pounds. Let me kind of quantify that for some folks in the RV world. A DRV, luxury fifth wheel, which is a very heavy, very large fifth wheel, even when you get the largest version of it, might be 26,000 pounds GV, GVWR. 26,000. When I film Lux fifth wheels, 48 foot long fifth wheel, luxury fifth wheel, 26 to 28,000 pounds. And that's a fifth wheel over the axle. This is a conventional trailer that weighs 30,000 pounds on the bumper hitch of this truck. It's a receiver, but they call it bumper towing, conventional towing. But on the conventional hitch of this truck, 30,000 pounds, and it is towing it, I'm gonna say it feels, it feels more effortless than my F450 towing my 17,500 pound fifth wheel. That's absolutely crazy. And I, I think every manufacturer builds a good truck. So I'm not I'm not trying to even say that, that you shouldn't look at the competition, but the reality is um, what you guys have done from a, a towability perspective, from technology, from just how this is managing that much weight behind it so effortlessly, it's hard not to feel as if this isn't the best truck you could buy for towing. Right. Um, especially heavy towing. I'm not saying if you have a small travel trailer or a small camper that an F-150 won't be perfectly fine for you or an F-250 or 350. But when you get into your heavier trailers and you want the most peace of mind you can have when towing those heavier trailers, you're not, I don't think there's really any scenario that you would white knuckle while towing with this thing. Mainly because, unless it was like so heavy downpour you just couldn't see or the weather was just so bad it was blindingly bad. But the reality is, is this thing tows so well and so effortlessly. I mean, you don't feel like you have to grip, you know, do a Kung Fu death grip on the steering wheel. Right. It's just a really good overall experience. And that we, we set out to make the towing experience, right? We have the platform, we enhance the platform, we enhance the powertrains. Um, we just made the experience overall around towing just so much easier to focus on what's enjoyable. We know that family time is critical to our customers and the enjoyability, right? I always joke around about how many divorces start at the boat ramp or the campsite as your spouses are yelling at each other to do this or that. And we're trying to take all that stress out by camera views and making sure the truck can be your wingman, can help you do all these scenarios that are stressful and allow you to focus on what's surprised it didn't kick in sooner when we were going up that seven and a half percent grade. But we do have a big load on the back, so yeah. it's, uh, we got to manage that heat. That's, uh, the truck is, is taking care of that for you. Again, I got to emphasize, 30,000 pounds conventional. That's, wait, so maybe I, maybe I wasn't paying attention during one of the briefings, but what is the maximum conventional? Do you know what the maximum conventional tow capacity of this truck it's is? It's 30,000. Right, so we're calling the conventional on the Pintle. The Pintle is what we're advertising, but yeah. if you can have a, uh, um, if somebody could make a conventional trailer to 30, the truck would be capable of that. 
so here's the question. So my 2017 with the three inch receiver, I think had a maximum of 22,000 or something like that. Right, 21, 21, 22. You guys have upped it significantly. And uh, there's a lot to be said by that because again, that lever arm over the back, it's pushing down behind the rear axle of the truck. So it's, it's incredibly important to make sure you dial in your weight and balance, of course. But this towing experience is off the chart. It's, and guys, if you're watching this video, uh, don't just take my word for it. If you have an opportunity ever to tow super heavy with an F450, take it up because you're, you're going to probably come away with the exact same driving impressions I have on it because it's, it's unreal how well this truck is handling 30,000 pounds conventionally. That, that's unreal. It really is. What'd yeah. What do you think of the HUD for towing? The HUD's awesome. Um, I have another vehicle that has HUD on it and I've gotten used to it, but the information that this is giving you is really nice. And when you're towing heavy, is really where HUD comes in handy because it's less looking down at your, ga your gauge cluster and it's more keeping an eye on the road and just making little eye shifts down above your hood where the HUD is displaying. So yeah, no, it's really nice. I'd probably have the brightness turned down a little bit if it were me, but overall. Well, you can overall, adjust all those, yeah. You can adjust the position and the brightness, but. Overall, it's, it's a wonderful tool to have. Does this have the uh, backup it's mirror? It's got the, uh, the digital mirror? No, it's all, it's just all. It's okay. Green, but it's got the chromatic, and it'll turn green, and the lights are on behind you. So I like how you can maintain the camera views the whole time. Right. That's a big upgrade over, over what I've had. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's really, really a good setup. And I got to check something out real quick, too. Um, you have the key to this truck, right? It should be in here somewhere. So I would love. And this is just for my own knowledge. If once we stop this truck and start it, if I have to press the brake to turn on the air conditioning controls. I don't think, my current truck doesn't, which I love. Yeah. And I don't think you have to on this. Are you talking like a remote start or? No, so um, again, a competing truck that I have, one of the things that I absolutely dislike about it is when you remote start the truck, yeah and you get inside, like if my wife remote starts the truck and she's gonna get and sit in the passenger seat, on my F450 or her Expedition, she can get in, remote start, and just press the start button and the AC controls and the radio controls will come on right. so she can adjust them. On another truck that I have from a competing brand, you have to put your foot on the brake before you can turn on air conditioning controls or radio controls. Okay. If you don't, you press the button, you'll shut off the engine. So, yeah, this one I think you just have to press the button. I've always got it. That's, just that, that's me. I've always done that. All right, so I'm going to do this quick test while we wrap up. I'm going to turn off the truck. Truck is off. Got the key in my hand. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we started up the truck. I'm not going to push the brake pedal. And again, my other truck right now, if I push the start button, it will tell me I need to press the brake. And if I push it again, it'll shut the truck off unless I push the brake pedal. Look at that, mirrors folding out, everything is coming on, and I didn't even need to press the brake pedal. Now this is what's cool about it. A lot of people say, well, what if somebody, what if you remote start the truck, then somebody jumps into your truck and they press the start button, they try to take off, and they think, well, this other manufacturer does it as a safety thing. Well, it's not a safety thing, because if David takes the key and he walks out with it, I can't remove this truck from park. Right. It's going to stay in park. I can't do anything to the truck. And if I press the brake or do anything, it I don't think it'll shut the truck off, it's but it's, a, it's just going to sit here. Right. It's not going to do anything. But the more important aspect of this is if I do remote start it, I have to lock the truck before I remote start it. So the truck's going to be locked regardless. But, yep, no, that was really cool. Anyways, David, this was super fun. Yep, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Love this truck. Um, Man, I'm a, I'm a big fan of F450s. I don't think it's like the best truck in the world. I think there's everyone has their perks, but boy, they've done so much. And, and it's it's hard to not really like this truck. I, I can't think of anything that you guys are missing. I don't know how you are going to be able to come up with like the 2028 20, version of this truck. Oh, I, we'll figure out. Like, what, what can you add to this truck <laughs> from a feature perspective? Just promise me. As long as you're here, you never get rid of these 12 volt outlets. We'll never get rid of those, right? We know how important they are. So, I got my word. 
I appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again real soon.